Hey everybody and welcome back to Vietnam. If you're just tuning into this series, we've actually been traveling through the north of this beautiful country with 10 incredible people from around the world on our very first Fly in the Nest expeditions. So much has happened over the last few days and we have so much to catch you all up on. So the last time you saw us, we were exploring the beautiful city of Hue, but it was time to go to our final destination. So we jumped on a bus and actually took one of the most scenic routes here in Vietnam. It's called the Hoi Van Pass and it takes you over lush green mountains with amazing views over the coast. So before we arrived at our final destination of Hoi An, we stopped at this little beach town to grab some coconuts and lunch right on the beach. And now we are here, we have arrived in Hoi An and this place is hands down our favourite city that we have ever been to here in Vietnam. Guys, we've just ventured out into the streets of Hoi An and first priority was to get some group hats. We've done that and this place is amazing. I feel like this is our favourite spot so far here in Vietnam. It's like super historical so it looks like quite nice and definitely looks different to some of the other spots we've gone to. And the cars and scooters aren't allowed on the streets so you can just walk around as you please and not have to worry. Well, when we started out, things were much easier We could write down our dreams, somehow they So we're actually in Hoi An on quite a special time It is the night before the full moon and they kind of do their own version of the lantern festival So rather than letting them all out into the sky, they actually do it along the river So we've decided to jump in one of the boats there's lanterns everywhere and at about seven o'clock they're going to switch off all the lights. It's going to be quite a nice sight to see. Not tonight. So during the couple of days that we've had here in Hoi An, we found that they have the best Vietnamese street food here in the city. And there's a couple of famous spots that you need to check out if you do have some time here. So for lunch, there's a dish you need to try when you come to Hoi An. It's called a banh mi and obviously it's a very popular dish. We've come to the original place that kind of invented it. It's almost like a French baguette with just whatever you want inside and uh, see how long it takes us to get it. Ban mi! So there's quite a lot of French influence here in Vietnam and one thing that they brought to the cuisine here in Vietnam is baguettes. And now they've created kind of their own dish, it's called a banh mi. And it's usually filled with like pickles and vegetables and pork. We've actually got one with tofu and she's also added an avocado. And I'm very excited because I think that we found the most popular one in all of Vietnam. It took a bit, about half an hour to get one. And that's because Anthony Bourdain, if you guys know him, he kind of came here and put this dish and that restaurant on the map. Alright, ready? I've heard Vietnam does the best baguettes. That is a really good sandwich. Hey, if you can eat a baguette, a French baguette, and having cultural food, this is a good... I'm in. Now that I've like really got into the sandwich, there is so much flavor in this. So you've got chili, you've got coriander, and then the tofu tastes like satay, and then all mixed in with a really nice baguette. It's like crunchy and soft at the same time. I can see why that place is so popular. And now while we're eating our banh mi, we have come to the most popular coffee shop here in Hoi An. It's called Hoi An Roastery, and we're going to be trying the famous coconut coffee. All right, dig in. We tried the egg coffee. This is the coconut coffee. We got an iced one. It's so hot outside. <sighs> That's interesting because like, if you have a look at it, there's a lot of texture in there. It's like quite gritty. So then you have like the coconut taste of it, but it's definitely thicker than like your standard iced coffee. It's like kind of full of shredded coconut mm. mixed in with coffee and milk and ice. What do you think? I'm Some have it just because it's so hot right now <laughs> and this is like the coldest thing in my hand. <laughs> we also went on seriously the best street food tour we have ever done. We actually jumped on the back of Vespers and spent about five hours eating so much amazing Vietnamese food. We actually filmed an entire video of that experience. So make sure you check that out. I'll leave it in the description below. It was it is... so much fun. Like I think everyone was just smiles all around. <laughs> so it was a really cool night. So something special happened yesterday here in Hoi An. 
For the first time ever, we ran a workshop day where we walked through with everyone kind of our fly in the nest journey that's happened over the last four years. And we taught them everything we kind of knew about traveling the world full time, how we do YouTube as a career, and it was super special. Like, it was a bit of a milestone for us. What are you doing, Jesse? I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Guys, we are going to be doing our first ever flying with us kind of workshop or seminar. So one of the days here on the expedition is we're actually going to be spending all day teaching everyone that came everything that we've learned basically over the five years of starting Flying the Nest, building your own brand and traveling, I guess, full time. And this is our first time that we're ever doing like a talk like this. We even have a fancy projector, we've got all out. This is like some of the topics we're chatting about and ah, I want to show you guys our meeting room. <laughs> like this doesn't feel real. Like, I don't know. We got a bit emotional before. Like it's crazy that all these people from around the world want to come and hang out with us and like listen to what we have to say. Like it's pretty wow. wild. It's pretty wild. <laughs> but let's give you a quick like meeting room tour. <laughs> so um, we've organized it at the hotel and we kind of given everyone some fancy paper. There's water. Like this is just too much. <laughs> and where are the roses? Oh, nice. <laughs> I love the view that everyone's going to have. Yeah. So we are currently at our hotel. It's quite a nice hotel. I think it's called Boyan. Historical Hotel. Historical Hotel. And then this is our view. Oh, there's a chef. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so everyone's going to be meeting us in the next half an hour. And then we're going to be basically spending the whole day teaching, teaching them, them how to do YouTube. Yeah. But yeah, this is it. Ah, looks so cool. <laughs> So it felt super special to be able to inspire other people to try and pursue full-time travel or YouTube as a potential career. It was a really nice day. And so our final day here in Hoi An was spent on the back of bicycles and we actually drove through rice terraces and through the streets, <laughs> around the scooters and around the cars. To <laughs> so we started our morning cycle here in the town of Hoi An. It's not too busy yet, but we're slowly making our way out to the rice paddy field and the weather decent now but I feel like it's gonna get hot today. Remember the days of staying up late when we snuck in through your window and your mom got so mad that I We've now come out to the rice paddy fields and wow the difference from leaving the town and coming out here it's so peaceful out here. We still don't do what we're told we'll never get old. We've cycled out to a little local farm and the whole place here is organic and we are currently going to go and pick some ingredients and we're actually going to be doing a cooking lesson here. Oh. Heavy. Heavy. Oh my yeah. gosh, Jess. <laughs> what? I think you're ruining his farm. <laughs> Anyone else? You almost killed Quinn. Oh my oh. Too fast, cause one day you look back and realize what matters the most. Don't let it go. You guys are lame. <laughs> <laughs> when you come out to these things, you really understand and appreciate just how hard most of the population here in Vietnam works on these farms. And we find out that most of the stuff just here is sold to the local restaurants and to the cafes, and it's about 3,000 people that live in this village, and it's it's really cool to come out here and just see how the locals work and live. And then they also taught us how to cook Vietnamese pancakes, which is one of our favorite dishes here. So the first you put in the one spoon oil for in the pan, like that. You do that. No, bro. You can, Whoa. Yes. You can do that. Can you do that. No, 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 really. It's no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. One, two, three. Three. Got it. Yeah. to go catch up with everyone for the final dinner. Ooh, 
Cheers. Good work, Steve. <laughs> Said you'd give it up on Jesus. Oh my god. Oh. When mom left, you Awful. swear wow. something else was with oh. us. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sing chow, Queen. Yeah, Sing chow. <laughs> Sing chow, Queen. Chin chow, mighty queen. Chin chow. Chin chow. Chin chow queen. Chin chow. Chin chow. Chin chow queen. <laughs> 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 <laughs>